So in this problem, we're going to consider the signal x of t, and it's a real valued signal. And we're going to take x of t and we're going to pass it through an ideal low pass filter whose cutoff frequency is omega c equals 500 pi radians. And the output of this ideal low pass filter is the signal y of t. So you can see by allowing just the low pass frequency components to pass and removing everything above 500 pi radians, y of t is a low pass signal. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to sample y of t, and we're going to sample it with a sampling period of t equals 0 0.0025 seconds. The question we have is, can we recover y of t from its samples? So we have a signal y of t, we're sampling it. Can we recover y of t from these samples? That's the question we're going to try to answer. As usual for these types of problems, what's important is the maximum frequency content of the signal that we're sampling. In this case, since y of t was generated by a low-pass filter with cutoff frequency 500 pi, the largest possible radial frequency of y of t is 500 pi, so omega max equals 500 pi. From this, we can go ahead and compute what the largest linear frequency is. We know how linear and radial frequencies are related. It's just by a factor of 2 pi. So we can compute f max equals 500 pi over 2 pi, which gives us a value of 250 hertz. What about the Nyquist rate? If our maximum frequency at most is 250 hertz, we know how to compute the Nyquist rate. It's just two times this maximum frequency. So f Nyquist is two times f max, which is equal to two times 250, which is 500 hertz. What did we actually sample at? We actually sampled at a sampling period of 0 0.0025. So we can go ahead and compute the sampling rate as one over that period. So f sub s equals one over t, which is one over 0 0.0025 which is 400 hertz. So we actually sampled at 400 hertz, and the Nyquist rate was 500 hertz. Since we sampled at a rate less than the Nyquist rate, that's a problem. We cannot recover y of t from its samples, because we violated Nyquist sampling theorem. So no, we cannot recover y of t from its samples.